Hello and good morning, my name is Seb, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm just going to show you how you can bridge your ute from Solana across the Polygon. I've already covered some minor details in a previous video which will be linked above, you can watch that if you like, but from now on I'm just going to go through it step by step with very minimal editing, so if you already know something, if you're quite advanced and you need a little bit more help or assistance, just play the video at 1.5 speed or 2 times speed etc. Okay, so let's dive in. So here we are. Uh, at Utes NFT. Always make sure you're going back to the official Twitter link and I've got uh, my Ute on my ledger. What I suggest you do is unlock your ledger and then while you're navigating things just hold it in one hand and just every minute or so just push a button so it doesn't auto lock. Um, I've also as covered in the previous video I've installed the Ethereum DAP onto this as well and I have Polygon as well although apparently you don't need the Polygon one as well. The other thing that's very, very important before we get started is I can't really show you too easily. So I'll just talk you through it. So go into a DAP like Solana and then click on settings. And then the first thing says allow blind sign and make sure that's on yes. Blind sign, just a quick little uh, description of it. It's basically the ledger can't see what you're doing. It's not a simple thing like send 0.1 sol from this address to the other address. It's qu something quite a bit more complex. And so when it can't understand it, it can't show you on this tiny little screen. It just shows you this, this big message hash, like a series of numbers and letters. It's too confusing. Ledger has no idea if it's safe or whatever. So allowing blind sign basically makes you say, yes, I understand what I'm doing. I'm doing something I should be doing. The point is you just have to have it on. So make sure that is allowed for um, Solana and Ethereum. So I'll go into Ethereum as well. Settings, blind sign, enabled. And then back. And then we'll go to Solana again. All right, so we're good. We're good. Okay, so here we are, Utes NFT. The migration details are here. There's also a previous thread, maybe a little bit further down. I'll just link it in the comments below, which goes over you know, all the details and the fact that you want to bridge very early so that you go into the draw to win uh, a, a BTC D God. All right. So first things first, of course, let's just click on the link. We know it's the correct link. That's all good. Then we'll come up and we'll click on our phantom wallet. The other thing that I want to add is if for any reason you're having issues, I will just set up a brand new wallet. So you, with Brave or Chrome or other browsers as well, you can come up to this little icon here, click on it and then add a new profile. And then you can just go to phantom.app and just install it. And then just import a general seed phrase or what have you, or create a new one, record it, and then just connect your ledger. That way you're just going to have like one wallet, one hot wallet and your ledger wallets that you choose to actually import. Because if you're like me, like most people on Solana, you've probably got like 10 or 20 or more wallets. And this just kind of cleans it up. It starts with a fresh install. That's just what I would do if you're having any bugs. It's just easier. It's worked in the past when I um, used to help Phantom with support. Okay, so here we are at utes.com. Migration, or we could probably click start, I guess. And my ute is located on, uh, let me work out where it is, sorry. This one here. So just before we go any further, just remember you're gonna need a little bit of Solana. There we are. Uh, and you need three dust. So if you need to just do a in-app swap, uh, you need that three dust just to unstake your ute if you're staking it. Uh, and here's my ute here. Cool, so I'm ready to connect. This is good to go. Phantom, connect. Migration has begun. And I would normally click start migration, but I've just realized I have to unstake my ute. So let's go to staking first. And then click on the ute. Well, we'll just rather unstake. That's my points. A little bit of dust and a little bit of Solana. Approve. Please connect. So you won't be able to read this, but it says unrecognized format, message hash, and then approve. So that means I needed to have blind sign on, otherwise it wouldn't work. Cool. I'm all good here, I believe. Now let's migrate to Polygon and start. Start migration. 
So we have to go from this wallet to a Matic wallet. So now I'm going to flick this over and I'm going to change it to, we could either do it to a hot wallet if you wanted to make it easier. I'd only suggest going here if you knew that your security was decent. My security is fine or decent. I already have some uh, Matic token here for gas. The other thing is I've got a ledger here and this ledger has nothing on it. So I can connect to here and then I can send some Matic into this wallet. So what I'll do now is I'll just see if I can connect this. Okay, I've just, I need to reconnect my Solana wallet. Let's go here. And connect mobile, so Phantom. Okay, I'm not sure how I'm gonna, let's just see how we, we'll just quickly flick this to ledger three. And then we'll try again. Continue with Phantom, connect. Okay, now we have to connect our Soul Wallet. Phantom. Let's see how we go here. Ledger eight. Okay, we're good. So that worked reasonably well. Next which use do you want to migrate? Um, well, I'm just going to select this one. You may want to, if you've got a few, you may want to just do one. And if to get familiar, you, you move that into a separate address and then just do that address specifically and get familiar and then do your other ones. Like there's no point in, in risking something if you're, if you're new to a process and all bridging things are very, very new. Small amount of Solana and one you approve that transaction. My ledge is already connected. I have it, as it says, unrecognized format, message hash, approve, approve the transaction. And uh, we'll see how long this takes to go across. Now, while we're waiting, I'll just show you one message here. This is from Harry, he's uh, Phantom Support, and he's just helping out in the Utes Discord. He mentions, of course, the very simple thing of you know, you have to upgrade to a multi-chain wallet, which I covered in the previous video. You can use uh, Utes S or Utes 2, and then um, a few other bits and pieces. It does mention down here, you have to unstake your your Ute, of course, and then uh, the migration no fees, staking on Polygon, Polygon, make sure you have at least 0.5 Matic to cover the transaction fees. So I'm guessing uh, Magic Eater isn't gonna cover that initially. And then this what last one here, after staking your Utes on Polygon, you will not see them in the collectible section, you'll see them in staking. That's just because uh, polygons set up differently. All right, come back here. All right, we're gonna, we may speed this up if ne if necessary, but once again, in the meantime, I'm just gonna show you one more thing that may be of help to you. And this is the Polygon Explorer. If you're brand new to Polygon, you're not gonna necessarily know this and we'll play with it at the end. But there's a gas system here. And whenever I do a transaction, I always use rapid gas. It's just, you know, you're used to things going through very quickly on Solana, unless it's like contention for an NFT minting or something like that. And I just go gas. I just go gas rapid, which means um, sometimes I've spent, you know, if gas is over a thousand, one Matic token or something. It, it can be a lot cheaper than Ethereum, but a lot more expensive than Solana. So just be aware of that. You can also get stuck transactions if, you, if you're down there trying to get standard and you know, for the sake of 20 cents, 30 cents or whatever, I just go rapid all the time. So make sure you bookmark this. And then when you've bookmarked it, you just want to see what the gas is, is doing so that you can just go through. If this gas is 330, I would go 390, 400. And a big uh, reason for that is because the actual TPS, like transactions per second, it's around like 25 or so. Uh, there we are, at the moment it's 40. And I think a block is around three seconds or 2.3 seconds. And they seem to be fitting in 66 transactions or thereabouts. So sometimes a little bit more. All right, let's see how we're doing over here. All right, I haven't, haven't clicked anything. Once again, I'm just gonna touch my uh, ledger to make sure it doesn't auto lock on me so I don't have to put in my password. 
Success, your JPEGs are safe and I have one ticket. Fantastic. Okay, so let's go have a look in this particular wallet. Um, Ledger 3. Okay, so I've got one dust and uh, Matic has kindly given me, or, or Magic Eden has kindly given me a small amount of Matic, which is very nice. And as mentioned, um, you can't see it in the collectibles. Okay, well, it says you can't, but you can. Okay, so they've clearly fixed that. But uh, Harry said you can see them here. So at this point, we can go and stake them, but we'll stake them in a second. But I'm going to list it on Magic Eden. I have no intention of selling. I, you know, I hope a lot of you do hang around on Solana. Of course, we'll play on multi-chains. I've, I've spent hundreds of hours over here. But, um, yeah, I'm not going to be selling this. As you know what I'm doing, connect a wallet, I'd select on Solana. All right, let's change that to Polygon. Cool. I will verify a new wallet, not my tutorial. And approve. Connect on Ledger. So here I'm sitting in Solana, so we have to exit Solana. And supposedly you can go into ETH. And it should pop up here. Sign message, it does. Um, and it shows it very well. So maybe this would work without blind sign on. But um, all good. Press right to continue message, message, sign message. I had to go right about seven times with that, just so you know. You're, just, you're selling it in the Ethereum token, not in Matic token. So I have no intentions of actually selling. So we're just going to list it for a little bit more than floor. Polygon does work differently. Like I don't think you can put on bids or anything like that, at least not yet. So we'll go with 1.9, list now, and let's have a look at this gas. Prove to transfer. So we have, um, this is a network fee average. I would, I would go fast, of course. And we'll see how long it takes. Approve. Okay, review, blind signing. Yeah, accept and send. Cool. Approve again. That was a little bit difficult. Sign message here. Let's see this transaction go through. Okay, I've got another message pop up. I'm going to sign the message. I guess this is probably a little bit uh, scary because you can't really see what you're doing. So just be sure you're on the right website. Because all it says is sign message and it says this multiple times, but we don't get that prompt on, on Phantom. All right, great. So now I've listed this at 1.9 ETH. I wonder if I've been given my 5 USDC yet. I have not. I don't know when I'm going to get that, uh, but it's one of the things Magic Eden is going to give us. I'm now just going to quickly delist, and then I'm going to stake. Cancel listing. Approve. Connected my wallet already. Review transaction. Blind signing. Yes. Matic zero address network polygon max fees acceptance sign so anyone that is playing over here for the first time i know it is going to be a little bit scary so just take it slow just do one unit time until you're familiar all right so as far as i'm aware we should be good we should uh be fine not listed fantastic all right let's go back to utes.com Click on staking, connect a wallet, polygon, phantom, here it is here, click on stake, prove the dust, all of my dust, and approve. Okay. 
accept and send, just going through all the toggles to the right. And then we'll do the next step. At this stage, I'm probably getting pretty low on Polygon actual Matic the Gas token. Um, it has lasted pretty well, actually. So I should add, you know, quite often the transactions will only be a few cents, but during peak gas periods, it, it can be like half a Matic or something like that. I've definitely done quite a few trans transactions like that. I may not have enough to actually stake it. I've already approved the dust. But it hasn't taken it. Now, I'm not sure why this hasn't, hasn't played nice with me. I don't know if I need to do it again. I'm just going to prove the ute and see if it goes through. And this is 0 0.02. So I'm not going to actually have enough here. So I've only got 0 0.01. And as mentioned by Harry, um, make sure you have at least 0 0.5 Matic to cover the transaction fees. Well, I would, I would probably suggest with the, the idea that you're probably going to play on Polygon a little bit more and get yourself like 10 Matic. So I've got some in a hot wallet and I'm just going to transfer some of this. The 10 Matic will, it, it will, um, sorry, this is con smidge confusing for me. So you can't just click on it. Okay, no, we can't. Okay, cool. Ledger three. We'll just send five. Five should should last you quite a, a decent amount of time. Network fee. It's always fast. It would be good to see as well. Um, this is from Hot Wallet to my ledger. It'd be good to see if we could have advanced controls as well. So every now and then we would want to go above the gas price. That's just something for Phantom to work on. Back to Ledger 3, we've got our Matic here. All right, let's try again. Connect our wallet, Polygon, Phantom. We could stake. We've already approved this, but we'll try the second step. You allow this DAP to withdraw funds from your account in the future. Fast, save, and approve. Review transaction and accept and send. We'll have a look and see what's happening here. Okay, this one's good. All right, let's try this one again as well. Approve our dust spending. Once again, always fast. Also for the uh, Phantom team, it'd be good if we could like to set it to fast settings. But I must say, this this is a, a far friendlier UI compared to MetaMask. All right, success. We're ready to stake. Done. Let's stake. And fast. And approve. So these are my points. And now I've got one staked. So hopefully this goes up. We'll refresh it in a few seconds. Okay, so here we are back at Ute staking. Let's see if our, our, our points are going up. I'm pretty sure I just saw them go up. Polygon, Phantom, continue with Phantom. And we're, we're slowly climbing. Okay, Utes holders, that's how you migrate across. So thanks very much for watching. If you do have any questions, don't leave them below. I'll leave the link for Phantom. You can go and open the ticket or you can jump into the Utes Discord. Just be aware that during this time, not everyone's like a full-time kind of crypto person and just take things slowly. So as an example, we're probably going to see, you know, I don't know, a hundred different fake Twitter accounts or people on Discord just trying to get you to go to scam sites. Just, just go nice and slow and go only to the correct ones and just go step by step. Just slow down. Like if it takes you a few extra minutes, it takes you a few extra minutes. Also, the amount of uh, Matic that you've been given by the team at Magic Eden, it probably isn't enough. So I would probably suggest actually just going to Binance and withdrawing some. If you're new to that as well, it's covered in the tutorial, which will be linked above. Thanks again. Cheers.